Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Baxter Student Ambassador Program webinar. Presenting for us this time is Lady Lee Cadillo, one of our BSAP finalists from Red River College. Now, just before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone that if you have any questions at all during this presentation, just type them into the Q&A box or the chat box, which are both found in your Zoom toolbar. And those questions will be answered after the presentation is wrapped up. Hi, Lady Lee. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. So since you're already sharing your screen for us, you can start whenever you're ready. For sure. All right, so hi everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Um, before I get started with the uh, presentation, I would like to thank everyone attending in this webinar and I'd like to also introduce myself. My name is Lady Lee Cadillo and I am in my last year of studies majoring in hotel and restaurant management program in Red River College, which is located in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And a little bit of background about myself. I initially didn't intend on going back to school after high school, but however, um, when I went for a vacation in Philippines and stayed there for six months, I slowly started thinking about hospitality and tourism industry. I was inspired by the views I saw, the people I met, and decided that I wanted to make it into a career. Um, my future plan now is to go back to school and take tourism after graduating in my current major and hopefully land a job in a cruise ship, airline, or resort hotel. Um, I am so honored and so excited to be able to present about Jamaica, the adventures and beauty the island exudes. And the island of reggae and sustainable adventures. Um, in this presentation, I will be talking about Jamaica. Uh, what the island offers and how to sell the destination and what they're doing to reinforce uh, sustainable tourism. Because um, I'm a hotel and restaurant management student, I will be leaning towards the hotels and resorts available in the uh, top three popular destinations in which I will mention in a bit. And I will also be emphasizing sustainability along uh, throughout the presentation. So um, about Jamaica, uh, Jamaica is located 100 miles west of Haiti and 90 miles south of Cuba. Um, it is the third largest island in the Caribbean Sea with a current population of um, 2,961,167 people. It is 146 miles long and 22 to 51 miles wide. Jamaica's capital is um, Kingston, which is which has a red arrow pointing in the screen there, and but the top um, three destination areas that I will be focusing on in this presentation would be the uh, Montego Bay, Negril, and Ocho Rios, which are, which are circled in yellow on your screen. So according to World Factbook, uh, Jamaica derives 70% of its GDP from services and most of its foreign exchange from tourism, remittances, and backside um, alumina exports. Um, US dollars is also widely accepted in the island. <clears throat> However, when purchasing um, small items like locally made uh, souvenirs that you can find on, um, being sold on the side of the roads, it's best to use Jamaican dollars for that. Um, Jamaica's national language is English, but the majority speaks English Patois, which is basically a language formed from English, Spanish, French, African, and other languages that came to the island centuries ago. Um, historically, uh, Columb Christopher Columbus discovered the island in 1494. He called the island Santiago and described it as the fairest isle that eyes have beheld. Even when the Taino's indigenous people that lived in the island died because of when they came, um, the original indigenous name Jamaica persisted and, is, and it is still used to this day. So in 2012, Jamaica celebrated their 50 years of independence from Spanish and British ruling. So remnants still of those um, colonializations still remains, which became um, popular tourist spots like uh, the Rose, Hotel, Rose Hall in Montego Bay, where they provide haunted tours. So um, why travel to Jamaica? Well, majority of target audiences are adventurers, leisure travelers, and couples. 
when people think of Jamaica, they think of Bob Marley, reggae, Usain Bolt, warm weather, and beaches. They're right, but um, there's more to explore in this island full of surprises. Just by interacting with the locals, tourists can tell right away that this island is rich of immersive cultural, cultural experiences and history. Jamaica is a great place to engage in recreational adventures, find peace and serenity, or if you will, get married. It's not hard to find a flight to this dream island. Uh, there are direct flights from Canada that takes you to, to Jamaica, such as Sunwing Airlines, Air Transat, Air Canada, WestJet, and of course, the Caribbean Airlines. Um, to, so in Montego Bay, um, tourists can enjoy water sports such as snorkeling, sailing, sport fishing, swimming with dolphins, um, go on a cruise, um, deep sea diving, and many more activities. And guests can stay in an all-inclusive vacation in Sandals, Montego Bay. Um, this is a 245-room uh, luxury boutique beach resort and is perfect for couples. And this is the main hotel where the Sandals brand really took off. So Sandals, Montego Bay is Jamaica's 2020 winner of World Travel Award as the leading resort. Um, 2019 Silver Award winner of Travel Weekly Magellan Award, and they also received the 2016 Strip Advisor Certificate of Excellence. It's just to name a few of the awards that they received over the years. Uh, the hotel promotes with island routes, Caribbean adventures, and offer different types of local tours, such as the Luminous Lagoon Experience. Um, for $60, uh, Jamaica Swamp Safari Village Tour for $77, um, Island Routes Reggae Sunset Cruise for $99 per person. And other tours cater to a variety of market segments that seeks different levels of thrills. They also offer different sale deals and specials on their websites. Um, they have spa services, um, unlimited fine dining experience to up to 12 restaurants, round trip airport transfers, just to name a few of the luxury services that, do, that they offer. So how is Sandals participating in promoting um, sustainability? Well, all of Sandals resorts participate in a program called um, Earth Check. Their mission is to offer the ultimate Caribbean vacation experienced by innovatively, reliably, and consistently providing the safest and highest quality services and facilities to guests, while at attaching a premium to our human resources and being among the most eco-friendly and community-friendly community resorts in the hospitality industry. To implement this, they educate and have their staff participate in environmental awareness workshops and seminars. They also monitor their water usage in all areas of their establishment, um, usage of timers on electrical equipment, waste management practices like recycling, um, full training when handling chemicals, emphasizing and promoting sustainable tours, eliminating single-use plastic straws and stirrers, and then opting to eco-friendly paper straws and eliminating styrofoam use. In Negril, uh, this is where you'll find a party atmosphere where people in their late 20s to 30s hang out. Um, there, tourists will find a, un a unique boutique hotel called Rock House Hotel. Um, which sits on a cliff over the pristine cove in which you can go cl cliff diving. It combines the natural beauty, tropical elegance, excellent service, and their environment, uh, environmental responsibility. The 40-room uh, hotel offers uniquely designed rooms catered to meet each guest's needs while emphasizing the natural beauty of Jamaica and wellness of their guests. Uh, amenities would include um, beach and bath essentials, uh, Bluetooth speakers, complimentary Wi-Fi, air conditioning, USB outlets, and other amenities that you'd find in other um, resorts. The hotel also offers a spa menu in which guests can choose what kind of health treatment they want. Um, Rock House Hotel has weekly scheduled to keep guests engaged like yoga sessions, painting classes, cooking classes, meditative tours, and off-premise excursions such as um, mineral baths and uh, zip lining. 
Uh, so they obviously emphasize the importance of their guests' well-being by just by the activities and services that they provide. How is um, Rock House practicing sustainability tourism? Um, Rock House is Green Globe certified, uh, which means um, they have an on-site organic farm, uh, plant nursery, woodworking shop candle making and spa products production facilities to help reduce their carbon footprint. They also have solar water, um, solar hot water, um, low voltage lighting, rain harvesting, um, recycling, and they also have an extensive uh, composting program implemented. Uh, the organization eliminated plastic straws and plastic shopping bags. Uh, these are just to name a few of what they have and will continue doing to promote sustainable tourism. And their goal is to eliminate at least 90% of the property single use plastics by April 22, 2020, which is Earth Day. They also encourage the whole community to be involved in sustainability practice by helping educate students in environmental awareness and sponsor, sponsoring school activities that relates to the cost. In Ocho in Rios is where some of main attractions is located. Um, this is where you'll find the Duns River Falls, um, Dolphin Cove, Cranbrook Gardens, um, Mystic Mountain Rainforest, and Margaritaville. Uh, located in Mami Bay is Hotel Rio Ocho Rios. It is a 24-hour all-inclusive hotel that aims to make their guests feel good with all the amenities they offer. The 856-room hotel is equipped with fine dining restaurants, bars, swimming pools, gym and spa. They also offer complimentary breakfast, um, jacuzzi, room service and 24 hour um, front desk service. So guests can enjoy activities such as volleyball, tennis, snorkeling, scuba diving and enjoy golfing in the Grill Hills Golf Club. And because the um, site is near the beach, the guests can also go to the beach anytime they want. How is um, Rio Ocho Rios um, sustainable? Um, Hotel Rio Ocho Rios holds uh, memberships that focuses on environment, society, and human resources. So um, these memberships are from the Global Code of Ethics for Tourism, the Code.org, Travel Life, and ECPET. So to explain briefly about what ECPET is, it is basically the code of conduct put in place to prevent child sexual exploitation in tourism and helps um, protect children's rights. Environmental-wise, uh, Rio participated in the UN's beat, hashtag Beat Plastic Pollution program by organizing uh, 20 coastal cleanups around the world. They opted to compostable straws for the hotels in Spain, um, Portugal, and Cape Verde. And they also joined Gran Canaria's second forestry revolution by planting 100 trees. Uh, Rio Hotel uh, implemented staff training on sustainability, um, water saving practices in their establishments, reduction of waste, opted for energy efficient appliances, participated in biodiversity projects and CO2 emission reduction. And um, how to sell the destination? Well, by highlighting it, by highlighting the adventures such as the water and land activities, the nightlife, the best places where they can stay, promoting the beauty and the rich culture of Jamaica and pushing sustainable tourism is where we can start enticing um, tourists. Intrepid Travel, for example, provides and sell packages that allows tourists to give back to the community and provides experience rich travels and so more and more of these consumers across the world are starting to be aware of their impact towards um, climate changes and those environmentally educated consumers are going to care more about how sustainable their vacation is going to be um, that is why we have to cater to the consumers do good feel good mentality um, meaning consumers buy services and products that makes them feel good about 
themselves because they know that the purchases that they made is eventually given back to the community in some way, shape, or form. And with that, I am going to end my presentation. Thank you for listening, and please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you so much, Lady Lee. Thank you. We'll open it up now for people to submit any questions that they may have. And um, as well, if anyone in here in the room with me has a question, I will put them on the line. Hi, Lady Lee. My name is yeah. Ian Stock. I work with Dan. Um, is there, do you consider Jamaica more of a beach destination or a cultural destination? Um, so because I lean more towards like resort hotels, um, it may seem like it's more on a beach destination, but it's definitely um, a bit, um, a lot of both. So his, his historical, cultural, and um, well, leisure travel is definitely what it is. It's just, it's um, a fun packed, um, adventure packed um, type of destination. And it's definitely where um, it's something that I would totally sell to my, um, to my clients. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Lady Lee, what was the biggest challenge you faced when preparing for this webinar presentation? Uh, definitely leafing through all the information. Um, I've researched and uh, basically just like putting it all together so that it's like um, to direct to the point and uh, so that I'm able to also like um, get my message across and what I want um, the um, audience to uh, see and know and like feel. Excellent. Thank you. And Angeline asks, what would your ideal vacation in Jamaica look like? Um, because I, uh, because I, um, I grew up in a tropical country, definitely the uh, mountains and the um, beach is where I would be going if I were given the chance to travel to Jamaica. Um, all the adventures like zip lining, um, water rafting, and all that stuff that I am. I was like I haven't been able to um, experience. I will definitely try all those um, thrills. Great, that's great. Thanks. Okay, I do believe that's it for the questions today, but I would like to thank all of you for attending this webinar today. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day. And Lady Lee, thank you so much for presenting for us. Thank you so much. Thank you for your great presentation, and thank you for participating in the 2020 Baxter Student Ambassador Program. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.